Hello, Painting with a Purpose friends. Today, we're going to do a fun spring painting. Um, the brushes that you're gonna need are your two inch flat brush, your small and medium round brush. Um, I have lots of colors here on this paint tray because I used it for a previous painting, but the colors that you will need are uh, light blue and light purple, that's gonna be our background color, and several different shades of green for your grass. You're gonna need yellow for your daisy centers and then white for your daisies. All right, so we're gonna start by painting our whole canvas this light blue color. I know I use it a lot. I, I do really love it, but we're gonna add some purple to it this time. We're actually gonna go about three fourths of the way down. So not your whole canvas. All right, now that we have the blue on there, I'm not even gonna wipe my brush and I'm just gonna dip it into my light purple. And I'm just gonna do some light purple streaks and then I like to come back in and kind of smash it flat. All right, so there is our sky. And if it's too much purple, you can always go back and add blue. But I like it like that, so we're gonna keep it like that. Wipe the blue and the purple off. Just wipe it a couple times. And we're gonna use this light, well, I guess it's kind of the medium green that I have. I've got this light green, a little bit darker, and then the dark green. We're gonna use this medium green for this bottom part of the canvas. We are finished with your two inch brush, so that can go in your water and we're gonna let this dry. Okay, now that our background is dry, with your medium round brush and these different colors of green and yellow, we're gonna use some yellow in here, we're just gonna make grass blades. So super easy. Um, we're gonna start with the lightest color first and you're just gonna come up and you're gonna come up way into the blue. Okay, now that we have a pretty good base of the lime green, we're gonna go to that medium green again. And we're just gonna come in and layer some medium green in here. Now I'm gonna come back in with this dark green and add some dark green in here. Now that we have 
have our dark green in here. Now we're gonna come in and add our daisies. So, they have to have their stems and I'm gonna wipe some of this green paint off. I've got tons of green paint on here. We're gonna use the dark green for our stem. And we're just gonna have the stems We're gonna add some daisy petals on these. So they're, you know, they've got a lot of those little leaves. So basically you're just doing a Y all the way down your stem with that dark green. And if that stem goes deep in the grass in the field, do that Y all the way down. All right, we're gonna let all of our green dry before we start on our daisies. Now that our green is dry, we're still using that same medium round brush and your white paint. I know daisies can be different colors, but, <clears throat> excuse me, we are gonna make our daisies white. Got a tickle in my throat. All right, so with your medium brush, and you make sure that all that green is really rinsed off. We don't want green daisies, we want white daisies. And your white paint, you're basically gonna start at the center of your stem and you're just gonna pull out. and you're gonna do that on all of them. Okay, we're gonna let our daisies dry before we add our yellow middles. With your same round brush, that medium round brush, we're still using it, and your yellow paint. You're gonna come in here 
you're just gonna kind of dab in the center. So just kind of dab around in the centers of all of them. We're gonna come back in and add a little bit of a tan color. So if you don't have, whoopsie. If you don't have um, a tan color, you can make tan by white using white and brown, but I'm gonna be using this light tan color. Now, with your really small round brush, so we're finished with this medium round brush. You can stick that in your water. And your really small round brush in that tan paint. We're just gonna add a little bit of tan in the very center of each one of these. And if you find that it's too much tan, wipe the tan off of your little round brush and you can go over it with yellow if you think it's too much tan. But the center of the daisies are kind of, got those little seeds in there. All right, you are all finished with your field of daisies. Have fun painting. I cannot wait to see what you create.